How's it going? It's Monday, April 3rd, and it's weekly vlog 13. Wow, this is my 13th. Cool. All right, so, um, yeah, start a new vlog. Uh, work today already. Uh, normal day. Didn't have to do anything with the aircraft, uh, except they departed, and they'll be back later this evening. I don't have to worry about it. Tomorrow they're not flying, and then they're flying back on Wednesday, so I'll probably fuel them on, I'll fuel them on Wednesday or something like that. Anyway, I figured I'd uh, do this outside because uh, we're finally getting spring weather, so it's warm-ish. But uh, that's giving me a lot more of the itch, so uh, I'm hoping to get some stuff done on the ridge line this week. It all depends. I've ordered something. Uh, should come in this week, so when that comes in, I'll show you that and what my plans are with that. And um, that's about it. Tonight, uh, I'm gonna go and have a beer or two with uh, my coworker there that we worked the weekend for the illusion, whatever. Figured we deserved it since the other one's back from vacation. Yeah, welcome back to the real world. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, nothing really going on right now, so um. Guess I'll see you guys when something else is going on. Hey, good day. Figured I'd do this now while there's some slow time. It's now Wednesday noon. <laughs> so it's not morning, afternoon. It's Monday. Or no, Monday. Wednesday at noon. Um, let's see. Uh, I forgot the rest of the stuff I said. But anyway, yesterday, things kind of went whatever. We we figured that we'd have to fuel the Aleutian this morning, but then they decided to last night. So at 8 p.m., I got a call from my coworker. Hey, can you come and help? So from 8 till uh, about 10, 30, 11, I was busy doing that. And then uh, <laughs> again this morning, I got a call at, uh, what was it? 20 after 8, I'm supposed to start at 9 in the morning, but anyway, 20 after 8, I get a call, say, so can't get a hold of the other guy that's already at work, because we had our fuel load and stuff like that, so we were assuming that's what he was doing. It's like, yep, I uh, got uh, recruited for a shitty job. I had to uh, empty the lab for it, so came in early for that, but now it's a good thing, because now that I was over hours or whatever, well, guess what? I get to go home. So, I get to go home three hours early today, so that's kind of good. I don't know what I have planned for today. It's uh, going to be a nice day, so I don't know if I have anything planned or not. I haven't taken a Del Sol out for a drive, so maybe I can do that. Fire up the motorcycle, you know. I don't know. Uh, like I said, it's been like crazy busy, so um, you know, motivation when I get back home. It's kind of weird. Um, so we'll see what uh, what I get in the mood to do. Um, so I'm going to end this now, so I can go home and have my lunch at home i guess <laughs> so i'll uh, keep you guys updated uh busy week it's going by fast already but uh yeah try to keep you guys updated okay it's uh yeah we're thursday this week's going by fast kind of busy at work but the nice weather itch is gone yep check this out yeah we got a little bit of snow snowstorm-ish whatever you want to call it but it's supposed to be nice on the weekend which I have off so uh, that's not too bad uh, so I'm still waiting for today's mail because uh, there's something in there that I'm gonna share so um, I'm gonna end this now and uh, get back to you when the mail gets here all right well it's a few hours later I know it's only been a second or two but anyway got the package I was waiting for and this is gonna be for a Ridgeline project so, uh, let's open it up. Yeah, I know, it's on top of my sub box. But... Erg. Erg. Alright. I'm trying to do this one-handed, because I'm too lazy to set up. Everything. But anyway, okay, here we go. Go like that, go like that, go like that. Well, I'm sure you might have an idea now, but hmm. Oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Ta-da! So I figured I'd try it out. Um, 
I'm not ready to powder coat my rims yet. Um, kind of figured out a way I might be able to do it, but not for this summer because same thing, I still have decent tires, so I don't feel like paying to get them taken off, put back on, and stuff like that. And I don't have an oven in the uh, garage yet, and I still would have to modify that to be able to accept my rims. So I figured for the year or two that I need, I'm going to try the dip. You know, it seems to be going pretty decent on other people, so uh, that's what I'm going to try for now. So uh, look out for that. Um, I might be doing that in here, or I might be doing it outside in the garage. I'm not too sure. But anyway, uh, don't worry. I'll put it on video when I do get it. So but anyway, yeah, I got four cans, one for each wheel. So that's it. Woo, that's the exciting part of my week, I guess. So here we go. I got myself a little something. It's going to be for the ridge line and it's going to be a project that's going to go probably into like my like project videos or whatever not necessarily the vlog so anyway here it is so oh, this is what i got me sorry about the glare but it's uh for the ridge line i'm planning on uh fabricating a bracket so i can put it in the box so it can help me um put stuff in the box like uh, when I have, uh, like if I want to put the motorcycle back there, the snow blower, or if I'm like putting, um, let's say, appliances or whatever, you know, I can just put it on the dolly and have that help me. Uh, it's cheaper than a trailer and stuff like that. So it was on sale. This is a 3,500 pound one. It's a just no name, got a Canadian tire. So probably like same thing as Harbor Freight or whatever in the US or who knows. But um so yeah so that's that eventually i'm gonna have to make a bracket because uh as so much as i love my ridge line you know the real truck thing i mean can't really just bolt it to the bed not that i want to do that either anyway but anyway i'll have to figure something out so that'll be fun that'll be a project at some point so um yeah i don't know if i covered everything i wanted to but anyway uh, look out for those videos. It's going to be uh, like regular videos or whatever, not part of the vlog, like the unboxing and other stuff and whatever. So that's the update for now. And uh, yeah, if I think of anything else, I'll just add it on. Well, good day, everyone. It's Sunday at some point. But anyway, yesterday I felt motivated. I uh, actually did the tire rotation and the oil change on the Dell Soul, and now I'm in the garage. With the ridge line and time to do the oil change on the ridge line uh no hids yet or no uh you know anything to remove the bumper or painting or anything i might paint the rims today at some point because it's you know slightly decent but uh time to do that and then after who knows i may take uh, the delso interior part so i can run all the speaker wires for the the amp and stuff like that we'll see how motivated i get today but anyway that's what i'm doing oil change on the ridge line so besides changing the rims and putting the uh, the fog lights in, I haven't been intimate with her yet. So uh, let's get intimate and do an oil change. So uh, yeah, you guys aren't going to see the oil change. It's just an oil change. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys after. Hey, so I'm uh, pretty much done the oil change. Woo, see, I know you can't see anything, but anyway. Uh, filters change, oil's back in, I'm going to bring it back down and then start it up, see if I have enough oil, you know, after that and whatever. But anyway, I know this happens now and then, because, I mean, I've done enough oil changes, but, uh, not this bad. Obviously, the last person that did an oil change put the filter on a little bit too tight. This was me trying to get it off with, uh, like, the tool. So, I mean... Obviously, it was a little bit too tight, or at least in my opinion, because, I mean, I know sometimes with the heat and stuff like that, it gets, but, I mean, yeah, it's nowhere near the heat anyway. So, I mean, yeah, that was on way too tight. So, uh, I did it properly, of course, because I'm me, and I love my car, and, okay, yeah. <laughs> That's it, I'm going to keep on going, and, uh, yeah, if I start working on the Del Sol, I'll probably let you guys know or whatever. I don't know what I'm going to do next, but, anyway. What can I say? Someone definitely has the spring itch. I think it's me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I started up the CBR. Can't wait to take a ride. How's it going? 
coffee time. Uh, that and I'm feeling really motivated after running the CBR. I decided to give the Plasti Dip a try. I'm only doing run one rim at a time right now. The other ones are still there. Um, so far, not too bad. Um, you know, it wasn't really covering at first, but they do say to put three to four coats, if not more. Uh, so now I'm at my third coat, and actually it's looking pretty decent. So uh, once I put a fourth coat, I think it'll look pretty good. So uh, we'll see if I keep on going today. Um, it's still decent out. And then uh, if so, well, who knows, maybe by tomorrow I might be able to switch the rims over or something. Or I'll have to look at the forecast. I don't think we're getting any snow, not that I'm too worried, because these are all-season tires that are on there. Because um, I have full winter tires with studs right now. But, I mean, all seasons in April, pretty sure I'm good. Uh, and on a side note, um, you know, I know it's kind of funny, but definitely do this outside. Not only does it stink, but obviously it stinks because the fumes are like horrible. So if you do do it inside, make sure you got fans and everything going because I'm in the garage and it's still lingering in the garage. So I'm feeling good though. <laughs> no, okay, I'm kidding. But uh, yeah, so hopefully, um, Hopefully everything will work out and look good. I don't really care about the peeling off part. Just as long as it doesn't peel off. I don't care if it peels off easy or not because I'm hoping to sandblast everything at some point. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. It's a productive Sunday. Productive Sunday. I like that. Woo! All right. And well, it's Sunday evening. It's about 5.30ish. Uh, and I think I'm going to close the vlog because uh, check it out. And I just finished putting the final coat on that one. So I have to say I'm actually impressed. Uh, Plasti Dip works really well. It's very forgiving. Uh, I mean, I, I've painted stuff with spray paint before, but this works really well. So if you're planning on doing something like this, I would suggest it. So I mean, uh, yeah, it worked well. It looks good. Uh, it doesn't take too long. And uh, now just to see how long it lasts. So. Uh, I've had a pretty productive day, so it's time for dinner, and then after that, it's probably going to be relaxed in a movie or something. So I will see you guys tomorrow at the start of Weekly Vlog 14.